It's all connected. 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 March 15, 2021, with the It's All Connected show. When I say we, I mean myself, Grimner, and my lovely co-host, Cirque. <laughs> so, are you in summer then now? Summer? No, it would be almost spring. Spring starts in like five days. But isn't it summer? Didn't you just go into summertime? No, no, it's going to be starting spring. How would I be in huh? summer? I mean, I, I know our times are a little different, but we're not three months off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah all, all you, of... you call it summertime and winter time, though, right? No. What? When you change the clocks? Didn't you change the clock? Yeah, it changed, the clocks change in, in, in the fall to normal time, and then in, in the spring, well, almost spring, um, uh, to, to uh, daylight savings time, which... I don't know if it's actually saving any daylight. Do you see any daylight being saved? Here we call it summertime and winter time. Oh. Oh. Mm. No, we call it standard time and daylight saving time here. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. No. Well. Anyway, uh, folks, today this is episode 34 of the It's All Connected program, and it's entitled uh, Expectations lead to disappointments, Ooh. which uh, you probably have all experienced at some point or another within your lives, you know. Um, yeah, they're in Sprinter in Wisconsin. That's uh, somewhere between spring and winter. Sprinter. I'm in spring. It's just nature hasn't really caught up yet. We were almost there. I thought we had a agreement about it, and then it started snowing. And who is this we? Me and nature. Oh, so you talked to Mother Nature. I thought we had a talk. We had a talk, and I was like, are we doing spring yet? And all the flowers are here. And, uh, and she said, yes, we are. And we, she lied. We got snow. Oh. Weekend This weekend, we had snow. Well, I thought we, we might get some snow this weekend because Colorado is getting so bombarded. Um, mm -hmm. And they're, you know, just, just on the northern border here. Um, but they did not, uh, it did not come down here. No, it's too warm for the snow to stick. So it's kind of like, um, just mud. Yeah. I'm looking at the thing here. 54 degrees yeah. uh, Fahrenheit, <laughs> which yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that is. Do you Celsius folk? <laughs> I think it's, Flash taught me to, um, deduct 30. And take half, I think. 32. So 54 would be? 32 times 5 ninths. Um, <laughs> my, minus 32 times 5 ninths. Uh, anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're, you're, it's about okay. 10 degrees C. Okay. Uh, 10, yeah. 11, somewhere in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, but the spring flowers are all here, and the trees are all with green buds. and uh, So spring is here. I like green buds. Me too. Big. It's about, to, we have to start planning what we're going to grow next year. Big, smelly, green buds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, did I mention, by the way, that we are live on RealLibertyMedia.com and uh, RLMRadio.xyz. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you are an XYZ kind of guy. I am. That's the end of it, right? XYZ. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah, that's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of it. At least the alphabet that we presently use. Not here. I got three more letters to go. You do not. It, it, oh. You guys do have some strange letters over there. I've seen some of yeah, them. Yeah, we got A. Er, oh. I, I've, I've seen them typed into the chat. You got those weird letters. And, and, you know, speaking of weird letters, for example, Canada and probably some other places, you know, uh, they, they use um, if if 
in, instead of using the letter Z, they say Z. Ned? Z. 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 So I don't know. Them Canucks, they're weirdos. See? The the letter C, you know, as in the last X Y Z, right? Yeah, right. Z. And the W, we don't even have those sounds in our uh, in our language. See, who's the weirdo now? <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. The only way we have like Z is for zoo, because you know. What about zebra? Okay, that's true. That's a Z too. All right, never mind. So you have a Z, so don't. Yeah, yeah. but we don't really have the sound for it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> and W, I I can't even say that, man. You just did. Well, uh, well, yeah, but the sound it makes. So you can't say what. I can, but then um, if I have to say B and W right up against each other, I get fucked. So you've never had a VW? <laughs> yeah, I can have a VW, <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to say blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. I can say vest. I can say he put on a vest. A white but vest. But if I would have to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can do white, but the... White vest is really difficult, right? I guess so. Yeah, we only have the B, B, B the hard B. But you guys got some weird sounds. I mean, you know, all those Germanic, lang Germanic languages have weird sounds. Yeah, yeah, we have more tongue twisters. I would say that you would find it more difficult to do the tongue twisters we do than I am, have a difficulty with yours. So, um, because <laughs> we we got a whole that, sound uh, that, uh, that you don't do. So t tell me this: do do your when 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 people are talking? I mean, do they always sound angry? Do I sound angry? No, 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 no. But I, I mean, uh, listening to people talk in in German or or Dutch or or, or you know Danish, mm. you, you sound angry. It sounds like an angry language. Yeah, I would say Danish more than Swedish and no and Norwegian would. Or definitely uglier. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you yeah. know, like a Klingon or something. <laughs> yeah, cuz we, we, we cuz that's, you know, we got that sound, the h like you you couldn't say kol, right? Say what? Yeah, that's porridge. Porridge Danish for porridge is kol. It sounds like you're choking, it sounds like you're choking on something. I know exactly because <laughs> we used the whole mouth and the throat too, and those are sounds you, I don't think Americans can do. No, we don't do that because uh, it does. I guess, like I said, it sounds like there's something wrong well, in, in your mouth, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and anyway, so the topic of today. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we've rambled off onto the weirdnesses of languages and other yeah. such things, expectations lead to disappointments, oh. which is true, and and I found that to be true throughout my life. Um, well, if you if you expect <laughs> quiet flash, uh, if you expect something, there is a probability, uh, uh, to whatever degree, that you may not get whatever it is you were expecting however yeah, if the you... more particular your expectations becomes right 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 the more difficult it is for the world to meet them though or or whatever you know whatever the world or individuals or whoever yeah. you know it, it could be anything uh, you, you may expect when you walk out to the garage to start your car it's going to start but it might not <laughs> so 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 then you get angry but see and that's that's the expectation expectations leading to disappointments there yeah but do you get happy every time it starts though yes do you do a little happy dance Ooh, it started again you just kind of wiggle around in your in your driver's seat Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I, i'm going to wherever i'm going <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, uh, so so most recently uh, here in uh, 
the U.S. of A., uh, they've decided to go, um, you know, down that toll socialist path and, and give everybody, well, not everybody, apparently, but most people, apparently, are supposed to get uh, some money, cash, uh, yes. handed to them for free <laughs> from the government. <laughs> now, not everybody is going to get that. Uh, for example, um, when, when they were going to give out uh, $600 a few months back, um, I didn't get it. I you didn't did? really expect it, although I had kind of an idea that I might get it because I got the previous $1,200 one uh, back mm. back last, about a year ago. Um, and, and so I kind of thought maybe I'd get it, but I didn't really fully, totally expect it because I don't trust government. Um, and and so I know if they can screw you over, they will. And, and for me, that was one of their little screw-overs. Um, was for everybody else, apparently, to get the 600 bucks, but me. Uh, so this time when they say they're, you're going to get $1,400 if you made less than, uh, I think, $75,000 a year or whatever, which I made much less than that, like zero. Um, mm. uh, but uh, so I, I don't really expect to get it. <laughs> I'd like to. No. I'd like to. I mean, since since what they're doing is going to drive up the cost of everything by a tremendous amount, and I, I do expect that to happen. Um. <laughs> would, would you did, did you expect that um, uh, Denmark did that? Did they gave money to people because of COVID? no? I I mean I would think they always gave money to everybody because you're a socialist country. <laughs> they don't, and we didn't get no stimulus checks whatsoever. So you're not stimulated at all? No. There's not even been a talk about just handing people money. Oh, okay. But then not a lot of people lost their jobs during this. Yeah, you guys didn't go into full shutdown like they did here, right? No, and instead of giving um, stimulus checks to the people, they used most of the corona stimulus to pay the uh, companies to keep their employees and keep paying out salary. Good. <clears throat> what about so the only ones who got something they got like two hundred dollars, and those were the ones who are on um welfare of some sort. How much is that in like kroner you get paid in kroner right a thousand kroners a thousand kroners See, which was two hundred dollars yeah, but a thousand kroner sounds a lot better than two hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> and and they gave those to um to the poorest uh, people who are on welfare. Okay. And what about the poor people that aren't on welfare? Mm, well, if they had a low income, no, they didn't get anything. You had to be on welfare. Yeah. yeah see, if you're not already on the dole, you're screwed. You are not getting anything. No. <laughs> so, but yeah. those people probably didn't expect anything. No. No. So they were they were just fine. They were happy. I expected nothing, and I got nothing. So, hooray! Yeah, well, it, well, it started. Okay, what happened last year was that the uh, EU changed our vacation laws. You so have vacation laws. Vacation. There's, well, wait, we wait, wait, have, wait, wait, wait. Uh, there's there's laws about when you can take vacation. No, how much? Oh. Uh, five weeks. Uh, a year paid vacation is mandated. Yep. See, Vinny's in the same boat I am. He mm. he, he may or may not get the 1400 did not get the 1200 just like me, and did. Wait. No, wait. I got the 1200 and I didn't get the 600 <laughs> <laughs> He's almost like me. Well, he's, yeah. he's he's a little different than everybody. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's, Not just because you called it a uh, socialist, right? Well, you are. You're a socialist you country, right? Yeah, well, you said the stimulus thing was a socialist, and you always well, call us a socialist. We're not, though. We're, you're you're we're not. not. What, what are we're you? We're not a socialist. No I, more than anybody else. No, but I know, but don't you call yourself a socialist country? No, we don't. What do you call yourself? We're, demo we're a democratic uh, monarchy. Which sounds like an oxymoron. However socialist it is, well, of course, we do have a welfare state, 
and we have taxes. And per definition, isn't that what uh, constitutes socialism? I guess. I mean, the U.S. has all that, too. It's definitely a, a, a yeah. welfare state. Um, yeah. And, and, yeah, there's uh, taxes, lots of taxes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's ta taxes on everything and then the taxes on the taxes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the taxes never end, man. It's crazy. Um. <laughs> yeah, they would do the same here, Vinny. Yeah. Take their own money, their debt first. Yeah. But uh, the whole thing is that um, here, whenever they they start talking about the, because they were at some point, they had some of the parties were going out and saying, oh, the um, event and experience industry is having a really hard time. Well, duh, they closed down everything. Yeah, they, so you, shut, you, you shut down all of, you know, you close all, <laughs> no. of, all the venues and nobody can, you know. No, they closed out all the parks and all the museums and all the, so, of course, they're having a hard time. And yeah. uh, some political party went out and said, we should do like um, uh, an event stimulus. So everybody in Denmark gets like 400 U.S. dollars as a gift certificate they can go spend on experiences to mm. support the experience industry, right? Experience and everybody, industry. Yeah, that's a big thing. We call it the event and experience industry or economy in Denmark. It's all the hotels, all the... Uh, Museums, theaters, cinemas, all that, right? Right. They took okay. a big beating. That sure. whole line of business took a big beating. And so they wanted to give people these gift certificates so they could, you know, start stimulating that that line of business. And other people were going, but it's not because we can't afford it. <laughs> it's ah. because you closed it. I mean, right, yeah, I mean, think like the, the whole restaurant industry here uh, just got devastated, and, and so many of those restaurants, yeah. they will never uh, be going back into business again. Cause, no, cause, so these people, you know, suggested you that every citizen would get $400 as a gift certificate they could use in restaurants, cafes, hotels, museums, parks, amusement parks, all that. And they but, thought it was a good idea. So you, you can't use that for like hookers and blow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they never got to it because reality kind of caught up with them and said, yeah, but the problem isn't that people can't afford to go to eat. It's because you closed all the restaurants. Right. Right. I mean. Yeah. So oh, tell me this now, since we're talking about expectations and disappointments. Yeah. There yeah. in in your personal life, yes. Um, do you have like certain expectations of things your husband might do? No, 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 no expectations no. at all. No. Wow. I really try not to. Okay. Yeah. No, I I I figured that out a long time ago, even before I met my husband. I figured that out that the less expectations and the more of my expectations that I can put on myself, the more happy I will be and the less depending on others to do as I want them to do to make me happy. Okay. And so, that makes a lot easier life. So you don't like expect them to take out the trash or no, mow the lawn or whatever. No. I, I don't know. I don't know what your no, household setup is, but. <laughs> no. No. I don't. Okay. Right. No, no. If 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 uh, if if the trash or if I if I think the trash needed to be taken out, I would probably just lift it up and take it out. That's a, that's good. That's good. Uh, but, or I would ask him if I really didn't feel like putting on shoes and he already had shoes. I would say, "Hey, go do this. Want to do this? Do it now." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> have you met my husband? Yeah, you have. How would no, you well, think not, that not, would personally, work? <laughs> not, 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 not personally, not 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 personally. Well, okay, but okay. Well, how about this? Uh, you, 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 uh, your dog goes out to crap in the yard, right? Yeah. But you, so you expect him not to crap on the on, or her, uh, not to crap on the carpet. Yes, that I do. Okay, so there's an expectation that you could be disappointed by. <laughs> the, well, I would not be angry, I think. No, 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 the no. I, 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 I only said disappointed. Yeah. I didn't say. 
that you would be I don't angry. know. The few times I woke up to Hannah pooping on the carpet, it was because she was ill. And I felt mm. more empathy and awe, oh, baby, how can we help you? And then I felt disappointed. Okay. But I do get disappointed, though. Sure. Uh, Many, all the time. All right, all right. Like, this weekend, what didn't we expect? You know, I was expecting spring, and suddenly it starts snowing. Yeah, you can't trust Mother Nature, you know? She's she's, no. she's no. fickle. She's very fickle. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're expecting nature to do what you think it will, then... Be ready to be disappointed. <laughs> Do you expect people on a... Hey, hey, Donna, that's really, you know, <clears throat> it's kind of fun to do the whole uh, We Hate Flash thing, but could you not do it on uh, when I'm on the radio? Wait, how's that We Hate Flash? He's just, just saying a joke there. I don't know. Now he's a jackass. He poops on the carpet. He... Uh, oh. I'm, I'm not feeling the love. All right, I just thought she was being funny, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe I should just zoom out. Wow. Zoom out, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. not expect people to be nice to each other, eh? Well, you know, that's right. that, that that that's quite the expectation. And even if they are being nice to each other, it doesn't mean they're really meaning what they're saying. No, no. <laughs> that's true. I do tend to get disappointed at that, though. I do tend to expect people to be nice to each other. I know it's my problem. I'm the one who's, you know, that okay. is in friction with what is. And for those of you listening back to this later on as a podcast and you're wondering, what the hell are you guys talking about? We have a chat room here. And people in yeah, the come ch- over and trash talk each other. I yeah, don't know. people in the chat here talk back and forth. You know, it's a good time generally. Um, not every all always. always but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there is love, tons of love in the chat in our room. Oh, sure, there is absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And and a lot a lot of the things that you see as like you know dissing somebody else, they're just having a good time. It's it's just you know, I I, I don't know. I mean you. You're a female, so you probably didn't hang I out. I am a sensitive little flower. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, but, it's no flick. But uh, yeah, but uh, so you know, uh, guys when they when they get together, they 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 diss each other. They uh, you know they they make no. You know some guys do uh, and some and, girls do too. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. Well, the ones that I always hung out with, we always had fun making fun of each other. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We'd cap out each other big time. <laughs> oh. Did you ever do like practical jokes? To oh, you? sure, sure. Because cause the crew I used to hang with, they were big on that. Yeah, yeah. You know, to the degree where it was like one dude, he lived on the fifth floor, right? Oh. Uh, and um. In, a, in an apartment on the fifth floor, and every day somebody, for years, every day somebody would go by his house and put a toothpick in his uh, door phone, right? In his what? Do you know, he, I don't know, but he had one of those where you're on the street, you can buzz, bzz, and then his phone would ring upstairs, and he would take it and go, yeah, who's that? And you would say, it's me, dude, and he would let you in, right? Oh, so intercom. Yeah. So what they do is they take a toothpick, break it apart, and put it in his buzzer. Okay. So up in his apartment, it would go back forever until he ran all the way down from flip floor and took out the toothpick and all the way up again to flip floor. <laughs> <laughs> and they do this with the same guy for like sometimes two or three times a day, but at least once a day for years. Yeah, well, he should have got him back. He he should have like uh, wired the the thing, the buzzer, so that if somebody pushed it, they would get a zap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but his problem was right. He lacked a little bit of uh, FOMO, so he couldn't just turn it off because then if somebody came and rang, he he wouldn't hear it, and he couldn't live with the idea of not knowing if somebody had rang his door. Oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'd have been fine with that. 
Yeah, nobody's ringing the door. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just disconnect the one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they did a lot of practical jokes. That's good. That's good. That's, that's always fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They kept oh, another boy. dude. They stole his bike all the time. Yeah. I was really fond of his bike, and they just kept stealing it and putting it on roofs, hanging it from flagpoles, uh, putting it on fifth, you know, on big tall buildings, hanging it out from stuff, and just yeah. You know. See, see, well, there, there's a point there. There's a crossover point when you go from being <laughs> oh. having having a good time to being cruel. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Which a little bit of cruelty is okay, but. You know, <laughs> in, in that in that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, you know, uh, people here in the chat they they do that too. They, they you know banter back and forth, and some of it sounds a little mean, but it's not really. Uh, you no, know. I'm the sensitive one. I I'm I'm perfectly aware of that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. I I like to keep it that way though. You you are the delicate flower. Yeah, I choose to be. Yeah. I like to live in a world that's a bit more fluffy and happy. Which is interesting, um, coming from, from your previous life, I guess I should say, when when mm-hmm. you were like, you know, kind of a goth, punk yeah. person that, you know, those, those you know, that group can... can I was always fighting for something back then. But that that kind of group can get a little rough with each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. punk punks like to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, and some of the, and some of that fun comes at the expense of others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I one one time we uh, set a, a couch on fire and it gave birth to a drunk Swede. Uh, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. We were really yeah, and uh, apparently it was a sleep, like a sleep couch where you could, a, a couch that you could turn into a bed. A pull out. Yeah. yeah. So he fell asleep on it, and somehow it turned and twisted, so he ended up underneath, you know, inside the couch. And and about an hour later, we came out from this big punk concert, and we just, you know, wanted to make a fire in some park, and we saw that couch, and we dragged it over, and we set it on fire. And then it started coughing. And we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw this, started banging, and uh, suddenly this really drunk Swede came out of the couch, which was on fire. He was coughing. And I'll bet. Yeah. It's it's amazing yeah. he didn't wake up. He did up. not expect that. Yeah, well, yeah. It's amazing he he did not wake up uh, while you were moving the sofa. Yeah, 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 because we weren't gentle. (laughs) God. Oh, boy. Well, some of those punks, you know, some of those, uh, they traveled. You know, there were people were in the in the where I used to go to concerts and stuff. People came from all. There were American punks too. Sure. Travel with bands over here, but mainly like Germany, Greece, uh, France, UK, uh, Sweden, and Norway. So they pretty much, when they came to Denmark, they like partied for for days before crashing somewhere for two days and then it, taking a train home or whatever. Uh-huh. So a sweet like that, he could have been drunk for two, three days and <laughs> just finally <laughs> crashed on the couch. I, I bet you that sobered him up a bit. <laughs> He was really angry. I remember him being really angry. Oh. I think he said we were trying to kill him. Well, you said the thing he was in on fire, so I mean, I could understand how he would think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we did not boy. expect it. it. That wasn't a disappointment, though. <laughs> An amusement? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's true. Yeah, we, yeah. We didn't stop and then cared for him and nurture him back then. No. We kind of laughed at him. And then we passed the joint to him, right? That's the only thing you can do, isn't it? Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> See, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny has a little different idea here in the chat. 
of uh, expectations because apparently um, pulling a nose hair somehow is a disappointment. I, I, I'm not really sure. I guess maybe if you're pulling a nose hair and the hair slips out of your fingers, then you're disappointed you didn't pull it. I I, I guess. I <laughs> See, okay, I did, okay, Donna, I did not mean it for anything. There is no butt hurt or no nothing. It's just, I, I don't really like all the argument and fighting. <laughs> and it, it strikes the fuck out of me, and it kind of makes me sad. Yeah. That, that's, that was just my whole point. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Flash, he's a tough guy. He can take it. I know, but I might not be. Well, yeah, yeah, you're not a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. See, he's good. He don't care. He don't, he's all right. Yeah. He, he's he's from. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure life goes on. He's he's from he's from the states. He he understands how people are here. <laughs> well, I don't think uh, it's a Danish thing because Danes are pretty tough to each other too. Are they? Yeah. You know, once sarcasm starts running in for Danes, it kind of goes. I am more of the one more sensitive people in Denmark too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, the, the concept I think is what we're trying to get to here is. Um, Expect. Don't expect expect nothing, and when when something happens, then if it's good, you'll be greatly pleased by that. Uh, you didn't ex expect to you know um, win some prize or or solve some puzzle or uh, get paid a bonus at your work or whatever, and you got it. So you're your lack of expectations made you much more happy than if you say you were at that work and expecting that bonus and thinking the bonus is going to be X amount, but it was X minus Y amount. And, and so you were displeased because you expected X amount, which of course, unless you contracted for that, that bonus. Um, and then it was, you know, that's a different story. Because I think, I think Moose made a valid point earlier. Okay. That there are, um, uh, but I did, she used another word that there are like expectations that are you know perfectly not <laughs> that we're supposed to have right like the car right or the sun normal come expectations up. you you, right? you expect the sun to come up in the morning yeah if that didn't yeah, happen or, <laughs> or if you expect that if you made an agreement with somebody that you hold in high standards that they will. Uh, come through on it, right? Yeah, yeah, you you do, but um, doesn't always happen. No matter, yeah. how, no matter how, you know how good of a person that is, or you hold whatever standards you hold them in, uh, it, it doesn't always happen, you know. Um, do you get happy when you then get um, when when you set low or negative expectations, and then you get met in it? That that leads to some kind of happiness or satisfaction. Sure. Like if you expect politicians to be corrupt, and every time you see a politician that are corrupt, you kind of can check mark it. But I don't know if it m leaves me with a satisfaction. I still get a li little bit angry. Oh yeah, I'm disgusted by him. But uh, yeah. to point point out one politician that is not corrupt. You can't. Yeah, it's not. It's not possible. <laughs> they, they chose to spend their life getting paid to make rules for others, and they all uh, suck. They all suck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, uh, earlier over there on on the Twitter, Twitter, I, I was reading an article. Well, not an article, a post uh, there that that uh, says Microsoft uh, is re releasing. .NET 6 Preview 2, and there, there, there's not going to be any UI for it, no graphical UI. And, it, and it, to me, it's like, why why do you take something that's working fine, working perfect, .NET 5, um, and, and screw it, and then release it as like it's an upgrade or an improvement? 
Now, I, I expect Microsoft to screw shit up and then mm. rele- release it as an upgrade, just like from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Uh, they, they really, you know, screwed the pooch on that one by, by putting in all this extra spy crap that, that monitors yeah. and tracks everything you do. And, of course, I know that they're going to screw up their programming languages and interfaces because I've worked with them throughout the years. And, I, and I've seen what they do. They take something that's working awesome, and they take away good features, and they, and they, and they put in crap that, that helps nobody do anything productive. So, I, I, you know, from Microsoft, I do have expectations. My expectations is they're going to screw shit up. They always do. They always do. So, <laughs> so if, if they came out with something that was awesome, an awesome product, and I was expecting uh, them to just screw some stuff up again, I'd be pleasantly surprised. I would be happy on that. Um, and I might even use that product. Which is, you know, it seems like a very slim chance, but um, <laughs> to, to, to me, it's that that kind of thing. Um, uh, okay, let's take last week. Last week, I totally screwed up a computer, one of my computers. You did because I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, I have this little Linux box off to the side where my bots, Vanna and Weatherdork, hang out. Um, mm-hmm. And I was going to upgrade it from Mint 19.3 to Mint 20, mm. which was, you know, suggested and, and promoted as a good thing. But I, when I did, certain things no longer worked properly. Ew. Okay, but prior to, to doing the upgrade, I, I did what they call a time shift, which is basically a snapshot of your system prior, prior well, at, at whatever point. It doesn't have to be prior to an upgrade. It can be whenever. So I, I, I did the snapshot of the system. And so after I didn't like the way that uh, Mint 20 was running, I said, fine, I'll, ju- I'll just restore the, restore the snapshot. And so I started that doing that. And, it, you know, it goes into a window and says, okay, don't do anything. Don't touch nothing. Leave the computer alone until we're done here. And it will automatically reboot and you'll be back to where you were after this. So I go for away for a while, do whatever stuff around the house. And then I come back in here, and the uh, computer is sitting at a, uh, a little bash prompt, um, basically saying, you got no OS, buddy. You're screwed. Oh, wow. So at some point during the restore of, of, yeah. the, of, of, of the snapshot, uh, which I could no longer get to since the OS is no longer there. Um, no. Yeah, it was, it was totally hosed. Oh, yeah. So I had to uh, restore, uh, well, I, I had to reinstall 19.3 from scratch. Wow. And, and, and then, then get all your uh, things to work with it. Yeah. Well, no, it, you know. You tweak I, a lot, don't you? I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tweaker. Not, 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 not the mess kinds. I'm not a mess tweaker. No, no. <laughs> those, the real kind. Those, those tweakers are totally different. <laughs> the real kind. Yeah. So 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 anyway, I, you know, I I put that back in, and I had backed up a bunch of stuff on a USB uh, flash drive, uh, everything that I, I really needed. Um, well, most things that I really needed. Some of the stuff I backed up to the flash drive didn't make it over there, for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. But whatever, I, I I got it back up and going within a couple of days, um, back to where it was more or less. So I expect. So it is- so we now don't have the original Vanna White? You, you have a copy of a copy. Oh. She, she's a, a clone, a cloned Vanna. She's a clone. And a cloned, cloned oh. weather dork. Um, <laughs> and Barman too? No, no, no. Barman's on a different machine. Okay. Barman is the original. Yeah. Yeah. Bar, yeah. Bar, Barman's out there in the living room. Vanna and the weather dork are sitting right next to me. Hmm. Barman don't like to be bothered with all my my daily stuff, you know. <laughs> so, so you expected it to do one thing, and then it screwed you over. It did, and I was disappointed. I was expecting it to work as stated, and no. Uh, so it was a double no, because I expected uh, the new version to work, 
and I let out all my stuff work, and it said, yeah, not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, and and no. so I said, fine, I'll restore this. And so I expected that restore to work, and yeah, no, nope. nope. sorry. Nope. You nope. got bung holyoed. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get angry, too? No. No. I mean, what, you know, I, 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 I do have also expectations that things will break. Uh, when you're when you're making, you know, it's 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 a fairly major change, uh, changing out your operating system. Um, I would have gotten angry though. Yeah, well, most people do, but yeah. it, it's not good to be frustrated or angry. You just take it. No, for what, it isn't. You just take it for what it is and move along. And I mean, yeah. how's how's angry going to help you get back to where you were? I figured that out after being angry at it for about ten minutes, oh. and I go wait. Oh, you just wasted another ten minutes just being angry. Yeah, all that energy and, 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 and yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's that, and that. and all the animals left my room and uh, my husband oh. won't talk to me and oh okay. Oh, and oh. then I then after ten minutes I go oh okay, well now now I'm just gonna try to fix the problem instead of being angry then. See, yeah. you you don't waste those ten minutes. <laughs> you just go directly to reasoning. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I need this to do what I wanted it to. It's not doing yeah. it. What do I do to make it do what I want? Yeah. That, that's the beginning and end of it, and then I do it. Yeah. I want to <laughs> be you when I grow up. Really? Are you yeah, sure? I be, well, not all of you. I just want that part of you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put you in, in, do a Frankenstein stroke adult. All right. Well, I'm sure I'm gonna die well before you, so you can, you know, take my body and, 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 <laughs> and use... find that I don't give a fuck. I don't get angry. Part. Yeah, use it for scientific <laughs> experimentation. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that's fascinating, Brenda. What is? People who don't get angry. Oh, well, I, you know, I get angry. Well, yeah, you see, when I was a little kid, I was I was angry at most stuff when I was living in my, with my family at their house. Yeah. They just pissed me off all the time. And, and, I, and I had, apparently, according to them, quite a temper. Um, <laughs> I think I can see that. Yeah, so... Um, and I don't know when that went away. Probably when I started smoking weed. Um, <laughs> I think there's a direct correlation uh, between being high and not being happy. I'm not being mad at stuff for no reason. You think? You think? It, do you think you lowered your expectations back then too? I, I you think, think you had I think, I, 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 I think the expectations got lowered just living life. You know. And, and you see things, things should be a certain way according to what's in your brain and uh, the logic of things, and they're not. And and so after a while, you realize, well, I may want this, that, and the other thing, but I ain't getting it, or it's not going to work that way, you know. Uh, so 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 how is it helping me to be angry or frustrated over over these kind of things? It's not. And um, no, you just found a way to use that energy to either solve problems, learn and understand, or get away from it, right? Instead of getting angry and meh. yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? But you're—I mean, you're pretty good. You go out and you do all your gardening and you know hmm? stuff with nature, walking the dog on the beach. Um, yeah. Now I yeah. can say you probably. Even though you, I think you told me you didn't, but you probably got very angry when Hannah yanked out your fingers. Um, no, I didn't. You didn't get angry. No. Okay. No, I got, I'm, I got more in a <laughs> first. First thought was, should I cry? And then there was nobody here, so what's the point? <laughs> and well, then I went. I got to go home. Yeah, well, you know, like, you know, sometimes if I do something that is turns out to be very stupid, I I might get angry at myself, but not not angry at um at whatever it is that I'm that I'm working with or, you know, that cuz it's not 
the fault of that thing, whatever that is. It's my own fault for being for doing something stupid that I, I didn't need to do. No, I know. But it's like with expectations, right? It that you know, uh some on you know some online shops, right? They piss me off to a degree where I just lose it. It's a what kind of shop? Online? If you if you go online and there are some oh, of those online, web shops online, okay. Where they have first of all, they have so much um marketing automation intelligence on their web shops. Right. That every time you move your mouse, they recalculate and everything fucks up and it just drives their performance down and it drives me bonkers to be a part yeah. of that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. They can get uh, way too uh, predictive and, 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 they're, yeah. uh, and, and there's no need for that because – but uh, No, I, they just but, – but way for too a, dynamic, man. But for a programmer, it's fun. <laughs> I understand that. And for the um, – um, algorithms they can sell all the data to and, and all that. It's great fun too. Yeah. But it pisses me off to sit on a website. I, I, some web shops, they piss, just piss me off. Yeah. I could go all, well, you know, where I see red and I write a long email to them and, and bitch at the website. And then they, so you spend all, all this time writing this long email and they get No, in. sometimes I do. I just go nuts. And, and, and they receive that email in their inbox and they go click. <laughs> like another thing, right? If you have to, um, I want a certain, okay, like um, some stores, they will have to where you choose the delivery or where you're going to go get it after you chose the, the which content you want. Right. And then um, sometimes it isn't there. <laughs> you can't match the one you want with all of your groceries where, okay, could we have started there? <laughs> Could we have started where I want this delivered, and then you could show me what I can get? Yeah. Don't don't you see the where the way I have to go back and forth and back? It's like drives me insane. It drives me buggy. Yeah, I I, I can see that. I expect better from web shops. Now, see, um, Donna Donna posted a, a quote here in the chat that says, "Your anger is a gift," and that's from Zach De La Rocha who I don't mm. know him, and I I don't know why I would trust this person that I've never heard of to, to believe his comment that your anger is a gift. Um, I think it depends on how you use it and what you do with it. Because okay. there's some part of me that definitely agrees with that. Well, anger I, is usually a reaction that, that you feel if, when something is wrong, especially when something is uh, unjust or dishonest or it just isn't good enough. Just, you know. Yeah. That's usually what sparks anger in people. Then what you do with it, if you just explode it all over the world, you just, well, to me at least, if I just explode my anger, it isn't there. Right. And I can't use it for anything, so I, I'm really working on not exploding my anger. Oh, okay. That's who this guy is. He's he's the yeah. vocalist for Rage Against the Machine. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys. Uh, there in the chat, Kate. Yeah. Donna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in the yeah. cage. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. That's not them. That's the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> But either way, that's true, uh, because no matter how mad you are, um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's probably not really going to change anything unless you uh, take some action. Of course, then no. it's maybe the anger driving the action to achieve the change, um, which may or may not happen. So, no. yeah. Yeah. And then, and, and then maybe, well, I would say for me at least. Yeah. Dealing with, you know. I ha I have a I have a I believe that I have a prof I don't I don't think you have I have a profound nature that's driven by anger right You do Yes Even but though I'm, you, I'm even I'm though even, even though you're a delicate flower you have a Yeah yeah pers personality of anger Yeah I do <laughs> Anger is my first go to feeling if something isn't right Okay and, there and I go angry, so, and then and I react. 
So, so you're telling me Flash has no bruises? No, he doesn't. That were inflicted by you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Because no. you're angry. But, you got you to hit something. You got to punch a wall. You got to... Yeah. <laughs> but I figured out that if because I don't want to live my whole life just being angry, though, right? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was for a long time. I was fighting the whole world for yeah. all that is good, right? Yeah, and and did lying you, to everything, just did, driven did, by this idealistic cause, blinded. Did, and and did all of that make any actual change, beneficial change? I would say no. Yeah, I would say no. I would say, well, it did at a very local. Uh, if you go very local, it did. Very local, like inside your house. No, I, I first I helped build a park in a night. That was that's one of my achievements as an activist. Oh, that's cool. Because I was part of the guerrilla gardening uh, and urban, um, you know, like urban gardening movement in Copenhagen and. The part of Copenhagen where I used to live didn't have any parks back then. That was in the 90s. Okay. And uh, and it had a big a lot that was privately owned by a company that kept saying they wanted to build a big-ass building and there were no parks. And it's just been standing there abandoned and we didn't have any parks. So in one night, m me and <laughs> more than a thousand other people build a park in one night that's a lot on of, that private that, piece of property. That, that, that's, that's a lot of people working together. But we build a park. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a lot With of people benches working. Benches and fences. Yeah, yeah, fences and benches and and um, uh, uh, grass areas, flowers. Uh, we build a whole fence out of old bicycle um, wrecks that we found. Everybody just, you know, have bicycles and stuff. And that park was there for, I don't know, eight or ten years. Because already wow. from the day after, it was one of the most used parks in Copenhagen. That's, that's awesome. Because there were no parks there. Yeah. And then the company said, well, it's our property. They squatted it. Uh, we we're going to build something at some point, and we really want it back. And people protected it. And then the city went and said, okay, we gotta, well, we got to lease it from you then. It's a park, we guess. We guess. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a park and it smells like a park, but <laughs> people use it as a park, and uh, so that was kind of neat, though. That became something. Yeah, no, that's great. That that's a, that's a terrific thing, and and you did, but that was, I mean, you weren't like you weren't angry that there wasn't a park there. You just wanted one to be there. No, I also did other stuff because I was angry that there were no parks. Oh, okay. That everything was gray and urban and there were no trees and nowhere to be and nothing that was uh, living and organic. Okay. We stopped the traffic every Friday <laughs> for years. Why? With music. Because the cars can't dance and streets are supposed to be for dancing. They are. Mm -hmm. I, I did not. I thought they were for like traveling. No. Because okay. back then I didn't want uh, the part of Copenhagen I was living in. We tried to get rid of the cars there, and and uh, a couple of years later they almost succeeded. They had two years where it was car free area that whole part of Copenhagen where you could only drive a car and if you were a bus or you were delivering groceries, no other cars. Wow. Hmm? Okay. So I have a car, and I expect to keep my car. And I, expect, <laughs> I expect to be able to drive down the road. Then we got these damn punks down there blocking blocking the road with these dancing. <laughs> yep. So so I expect to be able to drive, and I can't. So now I'm now, now I'm disappointed. Uh, <laughs> this young wild girl and her friends are out there making a mess of stuff. Yep. Called <laughs> Reclaim the Streets. <laughs> Reclaim the Well, see, but the, the streets weren't there prior to cars, right? So. No, it's an old Antifa thing. No, I know, but I'm saying that you can't reclaim something that didn't exist prior to it being put there for a no. reason. Um, 
No, but so, why don't why why this is the logic we were in? Why shouldn't we be able to use to get the streets as much as the cars can? Why do they win the use of all that? I don't know. I don't know. To use a sidewalk for dancing. It's not enough room. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was the whole point. We are more people without cars. Why should why should they have all the space? <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Greta, Greta would have been proud of me, though. I doubt it. She she seems like a very angry person. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't. I, she, she's always scowling and yelling at people and. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't. And 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 I, I think it's all just an act anyway. I don't believe any of her crap. Um, no. But yeah, I mean, I can understand the use of today uh, coming up, growing up, growing up, and looking at what the. I mean, when, when I was a teenager, and I'm looking at the state of the world and crap going on, it's just like, what the hell? Mm. This world's not going to even. Just... It won't even be around by the time I'm 30, but, of course, I passed that no. a while back. Um, I'm just going to say, it doesn't surprise me that an Illuminati puppet like Greta comes out of Sweden. Yeah, no, no, of course that not. It does not surprise me. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. Poor girl, though. I guess. Uh, you know, she, she's a tool, and she's and she's being utilized for uh, this globalist agenda. You know, you can just look at that... Uh, What's his name? Klaus something or the other. Um. Mm. I found an interesting article. I'll find it for you. But what it was saying was that the world, the Western world has pretty much been closed down for a year now, right? Yeah. So whatever these uh, climate politicians, they wanted to achieve with all their bullshit, right? Right. Has pretty much been the whatever we had the last year. So we should be able to see a very positive change on the on the um, global warming and the climate change, shouldn't we? You would think, but apparently not. But well, um, we don't. <laughs> uh, the world's still ending in nine years or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah, thanks. That's that's it, Moose. Thanks. It's uh, Klaus Anal Schwab. Anal Schwab. <laughs> you know, because China. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, folks. We're pretty much. Um, <laughs> thanks for listening yeah. to us. Yeah, uh, I told. I wrote to, about it two hours ago. I wrote this is going to be a disappointment. One one long hour disappointment. Was it? Were you disappointed by this hour? I don't know. Well, I figured it was. You know, if we started that way. Oh, I was. I was not. I, I thought this was a great did conversation. You expect, did you Did you meet what your expectation was? I didn't really have an expectation, but 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 I I think it was a great conversation we had. Yeah, me too. I mean, you know, we always have yeah. fun talking and and uh, yeah. So I, I, and a great audience. And, yeah, uh, the audience yeah. is freaking awesome, man. RLM, you know, you RLM yeah. people are just the freaking best. And, weirdos. Uh, yeah, you're the best weirdos in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, let's see what's coming up this week. Uh, Thursday, uh, barring any technical issues, um, myself and the Moose Girl uh, will be on at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, with Free Your Mind. Free Your Mind. And then on Friday is Vincent Easley uh, with American Dissonance at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then uh, Saturday is the Redneck Dentist. And he, Ooh, and he comes on, on to your teeth your he, he's on at 5 p.m. Eastern. He's been doing some pretty good shows. I like Redneck Dennis. He's mm-hmm. all right, man. Uh, and yeah. then uh, Sunday's the big day, of course. You got me with the blues in the morning, Hal uh, with, with uh, Behind the Woodshed in the afternoon, and and, and then Gary Ellen and, and Gigi's Boo doing the Top Ten Countdown. Yeah. I, I imagine they'll either do 1940 or 41. I, I don't know. Uh, they did, like... 36, 37, 38, 39, and then this last week was the best of the 40s. So I I don't know where he's going to go with that, but I imagine it'll be interesting. He plays, you know, it's that that old that old time in music, and I kind of dig some of that. Um, it's those kind of uh, triggeries that will keep you from expecting stuff, right? That's right. We don't know what to expect. It'll, it'll, it'll no. just go. And I can be pleasantly surprised. 
Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks all so much for tuning in and being part of Real Liberty Media. And um, uh, yeah, mm. I guess that's it. You got anything else? Mm? No. No? Okay. I don't know. Expect uh, nothing. Expect, or, uh, expect nothing. That's always the best. Yeah. Have a great and, week, every. Have a great week, everybody. Yeah, have a great week. And enjoy the shows. Yeah. Peace. Peace.